Milia are very common, benign, keratin-filled epidermoid cysts that are typically seen in neonates. However, children and adults also can get milia. Primary milia are usually seen in infants but may also occur in children and adults. Secondary milia develop following trauma to the skin, such as burns, abrasions, and blistering disorders. Milia in neonatal period tend to spontaneously disappear within the first few weeks of life. However, milia in children and adults tend to persist, and secondary milia arising from blisters rarely resolve. Milia are superficial and uniform lesions, measuring 1 to 2 millimeters in diameter. Primary milia in term infants occur on the face, especially on the nose. Primary milia in children and adults develop on the face, particularly around the eyes. Secondary milia are found anywhere in the body at the sites affected by the underlying condition. Another two less common types of milia are multiple eruptive milia, which occur on the head, neck, and upper body, and milia on plaque, which commonly affects the post-auricular area or the area behind the earlobe. Most of the time, milia do not cause any symptoms. Usually, no treatment is required for milia. But if the patient requests treatment, incision and manual excision of the contents of milia can be offered. Treatment options for milia on plaque include electrodesication, carbon dioxide laser, dermabrasion, and cryosurgery.